Previously on Sailing Catalpa, the new rod catches a beauty. Unfortunately for Dad, it gets revenge. <laughs> Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Welcome back. This week we are at a little anchorage in the Sea of Cortez, Mexico. The afternoon we arrived, Dad and I decided to go on a fishing mission in the dinghy. Take your time, possum. Nice. Okay, that's it. That's all right. Take it. Okay, just keep my... Holy moly, what is it? What have we got? Come on. Head up. That's a bird. You want to hold him, Belle? No. There's Bella's first fish. We're like literally two minutes into this. I'm gonna put him back in the water because he's grouting at me. Beautiful catch, Bell. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Bella's had the blue lightning rod for one minute, and that's what she got. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, he's quite a. They're called a Jack, a Jack uh, well, Traveller or something. No, what we already caught today. We're oh. in the mahi, so we didn't like me. Try again, Belly. Oh, 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 Belly's on fire! Wow, that was like, I reckon, 100 metres and we had another one. This place is alive with fish. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? He wants... There, not a lot, just from where the hook was. I mean, back in the water as quick as possible because he's not a keeper. And, uh, let's try again, Belly. That was fish number two of the sea. Number three. Uh, we're half an hour in. She's onto a third fish. I've got to sort of start to get ready to see whether I need a gaff or whether I'm going to try and handle this and release it. Oh my God, this is a beautiful afternoon here. Sun's about to go down, don't want to blind you guys, but it's a beautiful evening out here. Fish are breaking up, dolphins in the background, and Bella is just working this one here. Come on, where's the leader? There's the leader! The leader's there, Belle! You're like a couple of meters, I can see colour. We can see colour, guys. Oh, it's running! There it is. Coming up. What do we got? What do we got? I'm just gonna put the gaff in my hand just in case I need it. Bella, oh. not the tuna we want. On again. Number four. Come on, Belle. Be a mahi or something different. Oh, oh. Come on, Belly. Bring it up, bring it up. What is it? Nah, it's not a keeper. That is what our fourth fifth fish. No good ones yet, and my arm's getting sore, so I think we're just gonna call it a day. So I thought that Dad wanted one last go. Why about your hair? He thought he was gone. He's still like, I'm out of here. Come on, Bella, it's not like you've wound in five fish. Oh, there's the leader. He's under the boat, yeah, keep him away, Bell. He'll go under the motor. Bring it around. Oh, no, no, could put the rod down in the water. Oh, yeah, just hold it there for a second until he comes around. Yep, there you go, he's out there. Oh my gosh, it looks like the same. All right, so that was like the fourth, fifth, no, fifth. I don't know what number, I've lost count, but yep. All right, saying goodbye to this fella. We're gonna let this one go too. Catch and release afternoon. Whoa! Right. We were so close to being back. <laughs> we couldn't even get back. The sun has gone down. We're just on our way back and Bella has just hooked another one. Last one. one. Oh. Oh. He gone. 
unless you want to. How'd you go? Oh my god, that was intense. Where's your fish? They're all bad. I caught like six. That really? was like, we got, we just put the lure out, bang. Put it out again, bang. I don't reckon the lure is more than a couple of minutes in the water and I think Bella's gonna have sore arms tomorrow. Are they, were they all bad? Yeah, they're all the um, tuna. The, the first fish tuna. was like one of those trevella. One of those ones that you caught. All right, we're up early. So we're gonna go see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> Bella and him went yesterday and they caught so many terrible fish. We're gonna go see if we can find a good fish amongst the terrible fish. Let's do it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the morning. The moon's just up there. But the sun is out there, and there is the sweetie there. She's into it. We don't like the taste of you. Yeah, they're a little bit rich, these ones. Oh, not worth it. Pull on the boat along really quickly, yeah. though. <laughs> we got a second wind. A leader. Oh, the water is full of these fish, and we don't like them. Well, we don't like to eat them. They're lovely. So we'll let you go. It's because, it's because they're the fish that everyone rejects. John West. <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky. I was only just saying last night, and I can't remember the last time we've seen rain. I think it'll be in Port of Penasco with the tropical storms that come through, and that's about all we're going to see. Definitely know why the bees are looking for your water on the boat. Okay, we haven't had that too much of that. We had it in one day. Yeah, out from La Paz, we had a couple of dozen bees out there, but not too bad. All right, I'm gonna call it a, call it a morning. Thank goodness. <laughs> Everything in the water loves this little pinky. So, uh, yeah. Pink panther. Pink panther. <laughs> That's it. Um, I'm just making myself a morning mud water. I'm having a mud water matcha. It's a coffee alternative, but I've, I've never drunk coffee. It's a great morning drink for those of you who don't like coffee or some of you who would like to replace your coffee. It's got so many good things in there, but the best thing about it, it tastes really yummy. So Lee found something on the boat that we've been on this boat for a year and we found something new yesterday and we had no idea that we had this this whole time. I and Bella have looked at them everywhere when we got to Mexico. We're like, oh, we really want one of those. And we hadn't got one. Um, turns out we've had one the whole time. I'm going to make my mud water and then I'm going to show you what it is. What is it that Lee found on the boat? Well, it's something that is probably going to be my new favourite spot to drink the mud water, to be honest. We thought we had a hammock on board and um, Lee pulled it out last night and turns out it's not just a hammock. Well, it's not a hammock. It's a hammock seat! <laughs> well, this is the new favourite seat on Catalpa 2. Um, I'm going to drink my mud water and then, to be honest, I can't stay out of the water when it looks like this too long, so I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day in the ocean. Pretty much why we live on a boat. We all love the ocean and being in it all day, every day, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm really enjoying my matcha mud this morning. It's so good, it makes me feel good. There's so many great ingredients and all the ingredients are organic and the medicinal mushrooms give you energy and they give you clarity and focus and there's so much benefits to drinking this that it's not just a nice drink to drink, it actually is giving you benefits, so. Cheers to mud water and cheers to being in this beautiful place with this beautiful water. So excited for the rest of the day. Mum was off on a little solo mission to scope out the new surroundings. All right, what's in the cave, guys? Can we go have a look? All right, let's go see what's inside a cave in the top of the Carmen, Isle of Carmen. 
the Sea of Cortez, Mexico. The water was so nice. I jumped in and didn't see much, a few fish in the darkness of the cave. But when I looked out at the entrance, I could see a school of fish. This is one of my favorite things to see and swim with in the ocean, a bait ball of little fish. I had to go go Bella because these fish are so amazing. <laughs> While we were mermaiding about with the fish, the boys had gotten ready to go for a spear. So off we went to find a spot in the dinghy. And after a little bit of a dinghy ride, we found somewhere. The reason I prefer spear fishing over catching it with a fishing rod is you get to choose what you want instead of not knowing until you pull in the line. I jumped in and grabbed a fish we would then eat for dinner. I enjoy the hunt and skill of spear fishing. So for me, I'd rather jump in the ocean than throwing a line in. Back to the boat to cook it up. I've taken out the gills I've, and I just nicked it. I went past, I felt it, and I was like, oh. Fell it in anyway, the it's slowed down. But it's really sore. Well, yeah. well, Dr. Nurse Sarah will take a look at it for you. Yeah. You need stitches, mate. You know I'm good for it. We don't like yes. raw fish, guys. We either no. like it raw yes. or cooked. Not, Not in between. Not jelly in the middle. There's a lot of people laughing at you at the moment. They got flicked in the in the balls by fish the other day. <laughs> it was really honestly pretty funny, wasn't it? The fish got the last laugh. It was not really because you ate it. So well, you got the last laugh. I enjoyed it. He definitely got his revenge out on you before he died. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. And this fish was still pulsing after it had been gutted and cleaned and speared. I cut the flesh, put some lime juice and salt and pepper in it and it was pulsating. Not too close to the rocks there are we dying? <laughs> some would say maybe. It's a beautiful bay. The, it's funny with the tide, it's kind of green this afternoon. The water, the water this morning was magical. It was so blue. It's really nice. It's gonna be divine. It smells really good. Nothing fancy guys, just a little bit of salt, pepper, lime and I usually put butter but Sarah didn't but uh, she's going to put it on after. I only didn't put it, it on because it just drip into the bottom and kills a fire. Yeah we don't want fires on the boat. <laughs> so we'll garnish with some butter. Lots of butter. I made this flourless chocolate cake for dessert. It was delicious. We watched the sun go down and thought we'd go on a little night adventure to some caves nearby. All right guys, sorry we don't have much light here, but we're about to go into a cave. Turns out it was pretty dark and we couldn't see much. I think it's a better idea if we come back in the daylight. Well, this is a dark cave.
So join us next time as we explore this little slice of paradise here in Mexico. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time.